Is Justin Bieber an in the closet racist? Did Leonardo DiCaprio and Paris Hilton unite to diss Kim Kardashian? We'll find out soon all this and more on Rumor Patrol. That's right, it's Saturday and that means it's Rumor Patrol time. Misty and Miriam coming at you. Today we have some awesome rumors. Starting it off with someone that we always talk about because there's just so many rumors. I know. Justin Bieber, it's been a big week for him, right? It's been a big week. And literally, thanks to this guy, we have a salary. This man what? and his controversy He's plays our salary. Bringing it. Bringing it. How many more racist videos can you cram in one week? Let's see. Right now, okay. we have two. What's the rumor? Okay, the rumor is, is Justin Bieber really a racist? Now, with the first video where he uses the N-word in a joke, we thought, all right, he was just being stupid because 15-year-olds uh, are stupid. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. And it was a racist joke, and you know what? Most people have said racist jokes when they're young and stupid. This is true. So it was bad, he apologized, right. and then... And then video number two comes out. This is way more than you're in the living bad. room saying some stupid racist jokes. If I kill you, I'll be part of the KKK. There'll be one that's me, This is crazy. He's talking about being in the KKK and killing black people. Yeah, and this laughing crazy. about it. And you can tell he filmed it himself because you can see him at the end hit the end record button. And apparently he was mimicking a video he had seen online. So someone right. else had done this, you know, saying his song One Less Lonely and changed the words. And then he copied it. So it wasn't even his own creative it's... idea. Wow, that's even worse. Yeah. That's even worse. And of all the things to copy, let's yeah. pick the trashiest video on YouTube. Right, so he apologized for that video now. Yes, with the statement uh, that was released to the magazine Us Weekly where he said, and first of all, you and you, let me know if this actually sounds like Justin Bieber talking. <laughs> Ahem. Facing my mistakes from years ago has been one of the hardest things I've ever dealt with, but I feel now that I need to take responsibility for those mistakes that and not let them linger. I just hope that the next 14-year-old kid who doesn't understand the power of these words does not make the same mistakes I made years ago. At the end of the day, I just need to step up and own what I did. Quite the statement. Okay, this is- Did you like my acting? Yes, a lot. Thank you. you sound just like Justin Bieber just via like him. his publicist. Exactly. All right, and Scooter Braun. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So he's just playing by the rule book. His publicist wrote this, he put it out. He needs to do something else, in my opinion, to redeem himself. Although, I don't think he's racist. Exactly. So I just think he's an idiot. <laughs> I don't think that he's racist. Okay, his entire crew is African American. All right. Is, he is African American. He has a swagger coach that whose job <laughs> it is is to teach Justin how to be black. He right. loves black culture. He loves yeah, hip hop. We totally. see that with his new R and B music, his hip hop flair. He's in the studio with like Birdman and Mac Main now. Right. Come on. I agree. Okay. You liked my rant. No, I did. Yeah, I loved did. it. You it's did. so true. He's completely appropriated hip hop culture. So, is the question Justin Bieber just retarded? Absolutely true. Yes. But is Justin Bieber an in the closet racist? Sadly or not sadly, absolutely false. false. All right. High five. Yes. Boom. Moving on. Second rumor for today. Did Leo DiCaprio and Paris Hilton diss the Kardashians, namely Kim Kardashian? <laughs> so apparently the Kardashians were filming for their show Keeping Up With The Kardashians for E! at 14 summer sessions, like this party at this restaurant in Los Angeles. And Leonardo DiCaprio showed up and Paris Hilton showed up, but not together, right? We think not together. And Leo was mad because he wanted to hang out there, but didn't want to be filmed for the show. Not shocking, he's a big movie actor. Right, right? he doesn't do no. reality TV. No, 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 he doesn't need to, let's be real. Okay. But then there's Paris. Yeah, Paris Hilton shows up, she doesn't want to be filmed either, not even in the background. She gets all mad because they're filming there also. Uh, Which, uh, let's really think okay, about that. Okay. The idea that Paris Hilton did not want attention on TV, that's just crazy. She has been very different lately. She yeah. has her DJing career, her rapping, did singing Did you just say career. her DJing career? Yes. Okay. She has a DJing career. She okay. DJs every Saturday in Ibiza. All right. If you didn't know. Okay. If you call so it a career. Paris Hilton got her start in reality TV. Remember the simple life? Remember yes. when Kim worked for Paris? Yes. Do you remember that? Yes. Kim used to organize Paris' closet and they partied together. And now Paris doesn't want to party with Kim because now Kim is more famous than she will ever be. That was so much talking and so quickly. But is it possible that the Kardashian family was indeed filming some sort of a reality TV show yes. in Los Angeles? Obviously, it's what they do. They were probably just at the restaurant. And does Leo like to party and keep it on the DL? Yes, so with he models. probably did show up with hot blonde models, models as he always does. And did Paris Hilton probably arrive because she too wanted a party? 
quite possibly, but can I see Leonardo DiCaprio and Paris Hilton ever agreeing on anything? No. No. And caring enough to diss the Kardashians? No. No. They're way, no. one of them is way above that. And one of them is probably a little bitter because the Kardashians became so much bigger than the Paris Hilton ph phenomenon. I mean, thanks to Paris, yeah. Thanks to Paris, and right. thanks to Ray J. But anyway. Right, right, right. Anyway, okay, so do we think this rumor of Leo and Paris bonding together to diss the Kardashians is true or false? We think it's definitely false. false. Glad we agreed. Yeah. All right, you guys, we took all of your best comments and questions, and we're gonna talk about them right now. Yes. We're gonna debunk your yes. rumors. Miriam, go. Miriam, go. Amitesh Cool Carney asks, my question is, does Taylor Swift date guys so that she can then draw out a particular experience from a relationship and convert it into a song? Although genius, personally, I think that is completely false. I think maybe she does. She's a genius. Look how many Grammys she's won. It's working. You don't date someone in order to provoke the song. You date someone and then they break your heart and then you're like, oh well, I might Fine. as well turn it into a song. Fine. Take us to number two. We think this rumor is totally, totally false. false. All right, second fan rumor from LPS Pretty Puppy. I heard that Lou and Harry from One Year Together or something like that. I don't believe that. P.S. Love, love, love your show. Love, love, love your comment. Like yep. together, like they're they're like, together, like romantically bow, together, bow. or like together, like we're in a band together. Uh, no, they are in a band together, but uh, as far as them being romantical, I'm pretty sure we could agree <laughs> this rumor is so. False. Did you have something you wanted to say about that? I agree with you, and I think that they're very straight. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay, but then again, I thought that NSYNC was really straight, and then look at Lance Bass. Lance Bass. Moving on. Okay, rumor number three. <laughs> Millie Wells wants to know, I heard that Cher Lloyd was cheating on her husband, and then she also commented on her comment, please, please answer this, because I'm a huge fan of all of Clever, and we are a huge fan of you, Millie. Yes, thank you for this. What do you think? No, I don't think she's cheating on her husband. They just got married yeah. and I met her. She's been here at Clever and she's super sweet and down to earth. You met her? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Are you jealous? I am really jealous. All right. But also she's been talking about wanting to have kids with him and if you're cheating on your man, you're not talking about popping babies from your no. man. And she even said recently, I couldn't imagine doing what I do on my own. Craig plays a big part in my career. I'm extremely lucky to have him here to support and guide me. That does not sound like the words of a cheater. No, so we think this rumor of Cher Lloyd cheating her husband it's totally, totally false. false. And a lot of false today. A lot of false today. Right? Maybe the next one will be true. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see. Okay. Estefania Delgado says, is it true that Kendall Jenner is buying her fame? She has 8 million followers on Twitter, but I heard that some are fake. Is it true? Please find out. And guess what? That's such a good question. And you don't have to ask us because there are apps on your computer in the internet where you can actually look yeah, up Yeah, we're going to give you the Twitter. facts. Yes. So as a matter of fact, I looked up Kendall's uh, Twitter account, I looked up your Twitter account, and my own Twitter account. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I, out of us three, have the most real followers. Funny that you say that. So I, Am I like wrong? to conduct experiments more than once. The first website I plugged our Twitter account into said that half of your Twitter followers were fake. <gasps> and it said that most of mine were real and it said that most of Kendall's were real. That's when I decided, let me use the next program because I am her friend and I happen to know that Misty <laughs> does not pay for her friends on no, Twitter. No, I don't have money for that. <laughs> so I then checked on a second website and that's when yours came out majority clean, mine came out majority clean, but lo and behold, Kendall Jenner, the majority, a lot of her Twitter followers yeah, fake. Yeah, I think it was like 60% fake, or not 60% real or something like that. They can see it, it's on Look the screen right now. Look at the numbers, okay. Uh, interestingly, on Instagram, she has even more followers than that. She's like 10 million on Instagram. And you can pay for this if yeah, you think that the looking benefit? popular is They important. don't need this yet. They are still so young and budding. They already have huge careers. They're models and fashion designers and they have books and they don't even need to buy followers. What because does that do? Because they already have so much stuff. And you know what happens when people have too much stuff? They, they want, want even more, more stuff. Okay, 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 okay. okay. And just wanted to add a little side note, I plugged in Katy Perry's because when these apps first came out, people were saying that Katy Perry was one of those big superstars that had bought half of her yeah. followers. I'm the biggest Katy Perry fan. A bunch of her followers, like half fake. Right. Ooh. Ooh. And she's like the most followed female on Twitter, so that doesn't so say that doesn't... very good things. So there you I'm go. I'm really torn on this rumor. What are we thinking? Is it true or false? I think it's actually true. True. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for submitting your fan rumors. Remember to comment down below on this episode of yes. what rumors you want us to debunk 
next week. That's right. And guess what? What? Miriam and I will be back here next Saturday. Oh my god. Thank you guys for Highlight watching. Highlight of my week. See you guys next time. Okay guys, thanks for watching Rumor Patrol. It's out of control. You know you want to watch last week's episode to relive all the greatness. Just click here.